Let's say we're asked to graph y equals 2x minus 3. We can do this by picking some appropriate values of x and solving for the y-coordinate. So if we start by picking x equal to negative 1, we can replace the x in the original equation with negative 1. 2 times the negative 1 will give us negative 2. Subtracting the 3 from it will give us negative 5. We can do the same thing for another x value, say 0. The procedure is identical. We take the original equation y equals 2x minus 3, and instead of the x, we replace it with 0. 2 times 0 is just 0. 0 minus 3 gives us negative 3. Now remember, we only need two points in order to make a line. However, as you're learning this material, it's always safer to go for a third one to make sure that the line goes through all three. If you find that one point is not on the line, you're going to want to check your work again. There's likely a mistake. If we find the y-coordinate for when x is equal to 1, we do the same process as we've done before. 2 times the 1 gives us 2. 2 minus 3 gives us negative 1. Now the same information can also be represented in a t-table, or just the table of values. Here we can just populate negative 1 comma negative 5 to indicate that when x was negative 1, the y value turned out to be negative 5. And then 0 comma negative 3, which came from when x was set equal to 0. And finally 1 comma negative 1, which came from this last computation here. A third way of representing the information is by way of ordered pairs. So you can write it in the form of x comma y. Negative 1 comma negative 5 is the first point, 0 comma negative 3 is the second, and 1 comma negative 1 is the third way of representing the three points on this line. Now when we get to graphing it, all we need to do is plot those three points and connect the dot. The first point is at negative 1 comma negative 5. So I moved negative 1 on the x-axis, or one unit to the left, and then I came down by 5 units on the y-axis to negative 1 comma negative 5. The next point that the line goes through is 0 comma negative 3. That means we're not going to the left or to the right. We're simply moving down by 3 units. The last point we had was 1 comma negative 1. That meant a 1 or a right by 1 unit, and then down by negative 1, or down to negative 1, rather. So that gives us the three points. Now, if we connect the three dots, we see that there's this nice straight line that goes through all three points. And finally, we can label the line as y equals 2x minus 3.